Hi, and welcome to mytox.co.uk. In this video I will show you how to fit the bar and chain to a mytox chainsaw. The method is the same for both the select and premium ranges. Before proceeding, please ensure you have read the manual and have it with you when you are working on the saw, in case you need to refer to it. Due to the sharpness of the teeth, we recommend wearing gloves when working on the bar and chain. When you unbox your new chainsaw, the side cover will be attached to the saw. Before removing this, it is important to ensure the chain brake is deactivated. Push the chain brake lever forward to activate it, and then pull it back to deactivate it. This will ensure it is deactivated. Next, remove the bar nuts from the side cover and place them to one side. Remove the side cover. When new from the box you will see a plastic section sitting over the side cover bolts. This is just a spacer which takes the place of the bar in transport. Discard the spacer. Take the guide bar and locate the cutout onto the side cover bolts. Once located, slide the bar as far back as it will go. Take the chain and ensure it is facing the correct way. When looking at the chisel, the section that cuts the wood, this should be facing the nose of the bar when on top of the guide bar. Locate the chain around the clutch housing and the bar and remove most of the slack by sliding the bar forwards. Take the side cover and locate the holes over the side cover bolts. The ta chain tensioner will need to be adjusted so it is in line with the corresponding hole in the side cover. On my Tox chainsaws the chain tensioner has been conveniently located on the side of the chain cover to make it easy to access. Turn the adjuster using the flat end of the spark plug spanner until it lines up with the hole in the side cover and the side cover locates fully onto the bolts. There should be no gap between the body of the saw, the bar and the side cover. Place the bar nuts onto the bolts and tighten them so they are hand tight. Ensure the chain can move freely around the bar. There will be some slack in the chain, which is taken up by turning the chain tensioning screw clockwise. You will notice the bar can be moved upwards. Tighten the chain so you see the bar beginning to rise. Then hold the tip of the bar up as you fully tighten the bar nuts. Ensure the chain can move around the bar without any tight spots and then check the chain tension. Hold the chain in the middle of the bar and lift it up. The base of the drive links should be sitting at the top of the groove in the guide bar. 